When passion sits, putting on ribs. Hey, Malcolm, how's it going? I'm guessing you're driving, <laughs> and for some reason on your phone. <laughs> Ixalan, home of dinosaurs, robots, flipping lands, pirates. This was a cool set. I really liked it. And we're going to be cracking a box today of Ixalan on our Friday box cracking. I want to thank you all for watching today. And uh, we've got some contestants on here. There's actually one spot left with six packs left. So um, we, you can still buy in if you'd like. It's only 20 bucks. gets you six packs. So we've got ourselves Logan. Uh, you know I had to jump between you, Tim, Facebook, Fair, which one you're playing. <laughs> so, David, I found out I do the live stream on Facebook, and then I save it, and then I post it afterwards on YouTube. Since there's more numbers on Facebook, it's easier to do it this way, get the most commentary, and then I put it on YouTube for people to watch. And someone's ringing my doorbell right now, so fantastic. I'll go grab the doorbell, because there's an obnoxious shit upstairs, and I'll be right back. I apologize about that. All right, so now that people are wondering what the hell just happened, let's roll. We have ourselves Logan, Michael, Michael, David, and Joseph, which means there's slots for one more person to possibly play if they want. They get six packs, it costs 20 bucks, we rock and roll. So let's go ahead and roll and see what we get. Logan will get which position? Second, he will be our second position. Michael, his first cracking will be his first cracking will be four, number four. Second position, number one, David. He'll be either three or five, or there it is, five. And Joseph will be either three or six. Come on, baby. There it is. So he'll be last position. If another player pops in, we'll, we'll throw him in as well. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming by. It's our Friday crackathon. Let's get doing this. We got some Ixalan here. <laughs> this was fun. Uh, some of the cool things that were in Ixalan. There's some flip lands. Uh, of course, you've got some cool monsters and mythics. And oh my! So let's just rock and roll. Our first packs are going to be going to Michael White. So good luck to you, Michael. Looking forward to seeing you tonight at D and D, our final campaign with the Dragon Queen. So let's do this. Here's two, four, and six. We've got six packs ready to rock. Here we go. These first six are going to Michael. Thanks for your support on this Friday afternoon. Rock and roll. All right, so some nice commons right here. we got some Sure Strike. We've got Leon's Judgment. We're just going to go through a few of the commons just to show you some of the art and also some of the abilities. And then mostly we'll just pass. Oh, that's right. They reprinted Opt. Remember when Opt was expensive? Goodness. Jade Guardian, Unfriendly Fire... Okay, nice little counter magic. Demystify, and we got our first uncommon, so let's do that. So our commons are here, first uncommon. Deepwater Root. Charging Monstor, and... Hey, hey, right off the bat, pack number one. Admiral Beckett Brass. Very, very cool. Other pirates you control get 1-1. One, one. Beginning of your end step, gain control target, non-land permanent. Very cool. Nice pull, Michael. Uh, great question, Sebastian. So we do these uh, every Friday, and I post them in the Facebook group that you're watching this in right now. And basically, there's a way to sign up uh, in that group. You just message me directly that you would like six packs. It only costs $20, unless you need shipping, then it's $25. 
and you go ahead and you can Facebook message me that. You could send it through PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Uh, there's all the links are there, and we still have uh, one slot of six packs left. So if you're interested uh, and you need shipping, it's $25. If you don't need shipping, it's 20 So, Sebastian, if you'd like to hop in, that's a way to get the last six packs. So uh, first pack, pack was open, Admiral Beckett Brass. Nice pull there, Michael. Congrats. All right. Let's rock and roll with our second pack. Do -do 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 -do. Looming. I love some of these dinosaurs. They're just fun. Da -da 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 -da. Shipwreck looter. Just cool. I just like that they brought. I, everybody was talking about like a dinosaur riding a motorcycle when the set came out because they had uh, created the artifacts. Yes, you should do it. Be the third in the queue. Make it happen. Pounce. Prying Blade and Headstrong Brute. All right, those are our comments. Stormfleet Airlist, Ranging Raptors, Going to the Feast, and our rare is Goring Ceratops. When he attacks, other creatures you control gain double strike. That's a pretty sweet ability. A little expensive, but fun. All right. Good morning, David. How are we doing today, buddy? Uh, hopefully you guys are getting ready for the Monocolor Tournament, the return, round two. Year two of the Monocolor Tournament is in two Sundays, two Sundays from now. Uh, so will it be red that wins again, I wonder? All right, we got to, we'll get through these comments a little faster now that we've seen some of the abilities. And off to our uncommon speaker, Savage Stump. Marauding Looter, and the rare Deep Wood Champion. When you cast a non-creature spell, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Deep Wood Champion, and the foil is going to be Colossal Dreadmaw. Sweet. 6-6 six, six for 6, and it's Trample. Not too shabby. Okay. we got some commons we're going to crack out of the way. Followed by uncommons, we've got Kumena's Speaker. Inspiring Cleric, River Sneak, and the winner is... Ooh, all right, a flip land. Here we go. Vance's Blasting Cannons. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast this card this turn. Whenever you cast your third spell on a turn, transform. Boom, add mana. Or for three, spot does zero damage to target creature or player. Legendary land. Spitfire Bastion. That's pretty sweet. I understand. All right, very cool. Get these commons out of the way. For those that are just joining us, just to let you know, we are on our first round of six packs for Michael White. We have all but one slot filled, so that means if somebody wants to pop in, if you want to get your cards, it's only 20 bucks for six packs. So, you know, nice little deal there. And then uh, if you need shipping, it's twenty. It's another $5, so 25 total. Uh, Dust Legion Dreadnought, Trove of Temptation, Emissary, and Daring Saboteur. Unblockable little guy. Cool, cool, cool. And our final pack for the first round of Michael. Alright, Uncommons. Emergent Growth. Bright Reprisal. Deadeye Quartermaster, and... Blood Craze Paladin enters a battlefield 1 1 counter on it for each creature that died this turn. That's actually pretty sweet. Do, 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 do. All right, very cool. So, definitely the winner there was uh, card number one, Admiral Beck Brass, our first mythic for the, pa for the box. Very nice. And these are Michael White's round one packs. Congrats to Michael. Uh, so far, number two will be Logan Belithio, all the way out there in Korea. I know it, you're, it's a little late for you, you'll have to watch this later. Um, but these are your packs, buddy. Thank you very much for playing. And good luck to you. Da -da -da -da. Mark, just to let you know, we have a slot available if you want to get six packs sent your way. Just 25 bucks. All right. And you'd be up next, too. Okay. Get our commons out of the way. Wild Growth Walker. First uncommon. Imperial Lancer. Unclaimed Territory, kind of sweet, and a foil, it's our first one, it's Kite Sail Free Booter, enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand, you choose a non-creature non-land from it, and exile it, but I think the good one is, yes, one of my favorite lands, favorite lands, this is a new guy's cradle, and this is going to Logan, Logan, if you're not in love with this card, I'll take it from you, these are, this is a great card, 
Uh, basically, it's really easy to do, too. So when it comes into play, you get to look at the top four cards. You can put a creature into your hand once you've revealed it. If you have four more creatures in play, boom, you get a Cradle. That's a sweet, sweet card. Totally undervalued. Uh, I, I expect good things from that in the near future. Hey, Tim, how's it going, buddy? Da -da 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 Wild Growth Walker, Stormfleet Airlist, Direfleet Captain, and a Ruin Raider. Beginning of your end step, if you attack with a creature this turn, reveal the top card of your library and put the card into your hand. And, alright, rock and roll. Uh, very cool. Yeah, right, David? Love me some growing rights. Love them. All right, so we've got commons. We've got a Dustborn Sky Marcher, Sky Terror, Lightning Strike, and the rare is, ooh, Dream Caller Siren. Uh, can block only creatures of flying and enters the battlefield. If you control pirate, tap on two. Oh, how about that? And for some reason, Elizabeth, or Elizabeth, Allison's watching. Hi, Allison. How's it going? Are you watching with Tim? <laughs> All right, so these are Logan's packs. We've got two left to go. So far, only one Mythic opened. Tell you, if somebody opens a foil growing rights, yeah, we're, we're going to juggle for that one. That's happening. Okay, where's he's going? Whoop, right there. Uncommon number one, Perilous Voyage. Opatech Huntmaster. Walk the Plank. I think that's an awesome, awesome art. I really like it. And Sanguine, there we go. You gain X life, put Sanguine Sacrament at the bottom of its owner's library. A nice little instant speed life ramp. Very cool. Two packs left. Rocking and rolling all night long. These happy days are yours and mine. These happy days. Are... Okay. Rowling Roar. Perilous Voyage. Dead Eye Plunders. And a Glacial Fortress. Nice little tap land there. Dual land. All right, not too bad. You got some value. Some value heading your way to Korea. Do, 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 do. And Logan, last pack. Grim Captain's Call. Elaborate Fire Cannon. Sky Terror. And the rare spot is Repeating Barrage. Deals three damage to target creature with raid. All right. Not too schnabby. You got some cool value, some fun trades, some neat stuff to build decks with. This will all be heading your way, Logan, this uh, on Tuesday. Thanks for playing that one. Boom. All right, we're down on, uh, we've done so far Michael, we've done Logan, we don't have a third spot, so we're just going to go to the fourth spot, which will be Michael again. All right, and the reason we don't have a third spot is we actually, if you have six packs left, if somebody's interested in either buying them to pick up, it's 20 bucks, if they need them shipped, it's 25 bucks, and so we can still sell you that slot before we are done today. All right, Michael, round two. Here we go. First pack. Ooh, I see foil at the end. Slice and Twain, Destroy Artifact or Enchantment. Stormfleet Spy, Ranging Raptors, and the rare, oh, excuse me, the foil, Headstrong Brute, followed by Primal Amulet. I'm telling you, a lot of people are undervaluing this too. I really like this. So here's what it does. Uh, your instant sorcery costs one less, and when you cast instant sorcery, put a charge counter on. If there are four more, you flip it. When you flip it, you create a land that as constantly making copies of your instants or sorceries. This is a really solid card. I don't think a lot of people realize the value of this card to be able to just constantly copy your instants and sorceries, not to mention one of the formats, uh, what is it, Oathbreaker, where you get a, a general and a guaranteed instant or sorcery. If that picks up, this is going to be a very, very valuable card. Just keep that in mind. Do 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 do. I just knocked over my camera because I'm awesome. All right, pack number two for Michael. And we have da, 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 da. Lightning Rig Crew, Charter Course. Yeah, no, it's an awesome card. Adskin the Archer and Death Gorger Scavenger. What is this bad boy? Uh, when he enters the battlefield or attacks, you may exile target card from your graveyard. If a creature card is exiled this way, you gain two life. Okay. But I saw a foil back here. Ah, oh, it's a foil forest. All right. Foil forest. Not too bad. Yeah, Primal Amulet. Um, kind of some secret hidden tech. A lot of people, just they just forgot about it. And I think when this set is finally completely out of standard, uh, I think that the price of that goes up. I really do. 
I know it's not mythic, and that's where everybody likes to put their money, but there's some rare that, that pop occasionally, too. Pillar of Origins, Stormfleet Arsonist, River Sneak, and Burning Sun Avatar. We got a dinosaur. Uh, enters the battlefield, it deals 3 damage to target opponent and 3 damage to up to 1 target creature. Kind of sweet. So for 6, you get a big beat stick that also does a lot of damage. Uh, I got, uh, sounds good. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay, make shift munitions, marauding looter, walk the plank, and ooh, a legendary vampire. Whenever one or more non-token vampires you control gain a one-one white vampire creature token with lifelink. Sweet. Always nice having new legendaries to play with. Exactly, Sebastian. Exactly. We've only seen one mythic so far, so let's keep on rocking out. And uh, no foil rare yet either. Ruthless Knave, Marauding Looter, Unclaimed Territory, and the rare Old Growth Dryads. Enters the battlefield. Each opponent may search his or her library for a basic land card put in the battlefield tapped and shuffle as her library. Huh. Fun in a uh, in like a, a casual friendly deck, like one of those decks that everybody gets a little benefit from, but you typically get more. Kind of like that, actually. That's fun. All right, one more pack for Michael. Yeah, I agree. It is underrated. All right. Dusk Legion Dreadnought. Stormfleet Arsonist. Lurking Chupacabra. Isn't that fun just saying Chupacabra? I like that. And a foil. Oh, no, not a foil. Fell Flagship is our rare. Pirates you control get plus one. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card, and it's got a crew three, and... A foil right there, Emergent Growth. Target creature gets plus five, plus five on the turn, and you must be blocked. All right, not too bad. You got some fun utilities, some fun cards, and uh, I expect to see some of these in a future deck, Michael. Very cool. All right, ladies and germs, we're going to move on. Michael is down. We've got David is number five. Uh, excuse me, technically number four. We didn't have a third spot. And then Joseph will follow. And we have one final spot that can go after Joseph. Just 20 bucks gets you six packs. If you need it shipped, it'll be 25 total. We can pay through PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Uh, I accept blood donations. You know, we'll make it work. All right, so this one is David. David's up. All right, my friend. Let's see what we got here. Dylan, good point. Thank you very much for making that. Yeah, it is fun with that. All right, let's get through some commons. Ba -da 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 -da. Uncommon time. Siren Storm Tamer. Savage Stomp. Make them dinos cost less. Fiery Cannonade. And the winner is, boom, Sanctum Seeker. Whenever a vampire you control attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain a life. Oh, there's some Sanguine Bond stuff going on there. Very cool. Ba -da -da -da. Az Azkanta, that's what we want. That's the uh, mythic dinosaur, right? Or is that the land? I think that's the dinosaur. All right. Well, let's see if we can pull it for you. We got da, 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 commons, Verdant Rebirth, Rallying Roar, Merfolk Branchwalker, and the rare is Arcane Adaption. Look at that. Enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control are the chosen type in addition to their other types. The type. How interesting, especially with all these, um, all these different, uh, you know, tribes, tribal stuff, tribe matters. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Very interesting. And oh, hey, look at that. The Foil Rare, Deep Root Champion. When you cast a non-creature spell, put a woman counter on Deep Root Champion. Nice, very cool. All right. Always nice pull on the Foil Rare. <laughs> okay, we've got four packs left for David. Verdant Rebirth, non-foil. Chart a course, draw two cards, and discard a card unless you uh, attack with a creature. Azkan Archer, and I see a rare, and it looks like Conqueror's Galleon. When it attacks, exile at the end of combat, then return to the battlefield transformed under your control. And it becomes... Ooh! You get to add a mana, you pay to draw a card, you draw a card, return to our creature. Wow! This is good value. How do you get this off? Oh, you have to crew it. Okay, that's less good. But still, that's that's pretty sweet in the right deck. That's a lot of utility on a land. Okay, very cool. Very, very cool. Nice pulls. V-Land. 
Oh. All right. Get some commons out of the way. Uncommon time. Steadfast Armasar. Shapers of Nature. Raptor Hatchling. And a Root Bound Crag. Always good getting those lands. Always can use those lands. Okay. Da, 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 da. We still have only pulled one Mythic so far. All right. We've got a Navigator's Ruin. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of words. Uh, we have a Heartless Pillage. We've got a Fiery Cannondale and a Sea of Foil. It is another... Holy shit. Two. Two rare foils in the same box. Wow. That's solid. That is hella solid. Gain control of target creature with converted mana cast of X. And there's a rare underneath. Holy shit. Look at this. The Compass. Search your library for basic land card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Beginning your end step. If you control seven or more lands, transform. Boom. Add mana. Untap target attack and creature and opponent controls. Remove it from combat. That is saucy. Wow. You got six packs so far. Two, four, five, six, seven. You're at seven rares, and you still have a pack to go. That's a really, really good back, uh, pack cracking. Nicely done. Yeah, and it's a maze. David, my friend, you are rocking today. Not bad for 20 bucks. All right. Commons out of the way. Belligerent Brontodon. Slice and Twain. Deathless Ancient and the rare Ashes of the Abhorrent. But wait, there's more. Another foil. Damn, dude. Look at all the foils. Wow. Sexy. That was that was a really, really solid pull. Like all of this. This was this was just take a look at this. This was all in his six packs. Hold on, let me drop the, the camera. We've got a foil and tracing. We got a foil deep root. We've got ashes, the, the compass. Rootbound, Conqueror's Got. This was a solid pickup for 20 bucks. Wow, I'm impressed. Very, very nice, David. You've got some wins here ready to uh, when you're coming by. Or have Jordan pick them up or however you want to do it. That's all you. Nicely done. Nicely, nicely done, David. Those are yours. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have only one Mythic opened. It is Joseph's turn. And I still have six additional packs. Um, Sebastian, it's, if you need the shipping, it's 25 total. So if that's, uh, what you'd like to do, you can just submit that. I'll wait for the, uh, either PayPal, FB message, Venmo, whatever you got to come through. It's 25 total with the shipping, okay? And we still have at least two more Mythics to go. So two, four, six. And I'll let whoever is in the chat right now, I'm located in Brooklyn, buddy. Uh, we've got a whole Facebook page and the whole works. Uh, if you are hopping in, then I'll let you pick if you want this or this, and then I'll open it for the other, Joseph, because I don't think Joseph's on the chat right now, unless Joseph's in as well, and then I'll let him pick. Joseph, are you watching right now? Joseph Morgan? I think he's, uh, working at the moment. He's out in California. So, Sebastian, just go ahead and submit payment, and I'll let you choose left or right side, and we'll be rocking and rolling. Give you a little 30-second pause there, otherwise I'll just pick. Do 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 Okay, no problem. We'll just put one of these aside. Joseph, this will be your six. And we'll have six left if anybody else wants to go. So, rocking and rolling. All right, Joseph, this is for you. So we've got our commons here. This is going to be a Rigging Runner, Dire Fleet Captain, Glorifier of Dusk, and the rare Revel and Riches. Nice, solid pickup right there. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasured artifact token with Sackett. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 10 or more treasures, you win the game. You win the game like a boss. Solid, solid pickup. I see a lot of black decks playing that and winning with it. I'll take the left stack five down for 500. What? I don't know what that means, James. Uh, all right, so we're going commons right here, out of the way. And we've got Sheltering Lights, Navigator's Ruin, Thundering Spineback, and the rare 
Pirates you control get plus one and oh. When a foul ship de deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Crew, boom. Very cool. Still, at least two mythics left to be opened in this box. Will Joseph get both? Will they be in this other set of packs? We shall find out today on the next exciting adventure of opening packs. All right. Lookout's Dispersal. Vicious Conquistador. Charging Monastar. And Hostage Taker. Badass Pirate. I was singing the Jeopardy. Uh, Venmo address is at the basement, which is the at symbol, and D-A basement, B-A-S-E-M-E-N-T. Uh, hostage Taker. When Hostage Taker enters the battlefield, exile target, artifact, or creature until Hostage Taker leaves the battlefield. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as a man of any type of color. That's pretty sweet. Hostage Taker down. Damn it. Yes, it's at the uh, basement is spelt with an E. B A S E M E N T. So there's two E's in there. All right. Man, I keep getting this Jeopardy thing stuck in my head. Raiders Wake. Uh, Sleek Schooner. Imperial Aerosaur. Ooh, River's Rebuke. Fun, fancy card. Sorcery Speed, basically uh, Psych Rift. I mean, it's Sorcery Speed, but still. All right, two packs left for my friend Joseph. And it looks like Sebastian might be grabbing his packs. We're just going to check that out. I mean, you got to be feeling pretty good right now. Unless he opens a Mythic here and a Mythic here, the last six packs have two Mythics in it. I mean, that's just how that works. I've never seen a box with less than three mythics. I don't know if they make them. Although two foil, foil rares was pretty sweet. Ruthless Knave is our first uncommon. Lurking Chupacabra. Bright Reprisal. And Vanquisher Banner. This is a solid card. This is hella solid. It's gone up recently. I forgot this was in there. Choose a creature type. Creature get 1-1. One, one. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. This is a really solid for anybody playing those kinds of uh, decks with that use a lot of theme decks. All right, last pack for Joseph. Come on down to the prices right. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. All right, uncommons: Wanted Scoundrels, Bonded Horncrest, Ixalan's Binding, and the rare and or mythic is dun 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 dun. dun. Boom! Kinjala's Sunwing. Nice little control stacks the address, which means we have at least two mythics left in the last six packs. How about that? Joseph, I don't think he's on the chat at the moment. It's Joseph Morgan. Uh, David, if you're interested, you can find him in our messenger group. He's there very commonly. Uh, I think he's the one with the nickname something about Mox Diamonds. Uh, those are his packs. And if you guys want to make a trade happen, let me know and I'll get that done for you. All right. So who wants it? Six packs. I'm going for whoever sends the money first. At this point, it, either you know how to get them or you don't. So... Boom, Dan Corino just paid for it, so do not send any money. Uh, Dan Corino got it. These are going to Dan Corino. D-A-N-C-O-R-I-N-O. -I, -O. I assume you're in the uh, the chat, Dan? Or is that, Dan, is your, is your Venmo handle Sebastian? Is that who you are? Or is there another Dan? I got the money first from Dan, so he's the one who I'm I'm playing for. So I can send back money if, if other people send it to me, but I just need to make sure there, that either Sebastian is also known as Dan or there is a guy named Dan. You're, you're Dan, Sebastian? I'm going to go with yes because I don't see a Dan popping up. So, okay. All right, congrats, Sebastian. These five packs or six packs are yours. Here we go. And there's I, I've never seen a box with less than two three Mythics, so... I'm assuming these are going to be solid, solid packs. All right, here we go. Uncommon. Dinosaur. Deathless Ancient. And the first mythic is, boom, there it is. Awakening Sun's Avatar. When it is battlefield, destroy all non-dinos. Boom. Board wipe. Dino, dino style. There's mythic number one. You've gotten one mythic before? I've never... Maybe I just... For some reason, I thought they always plotted at least having three to six, but, uh, well, there's two for sure. Let's find out on live. 
Uh, Sentinel Totem, Bellowing Agasaur, Thundering Spineback, and Deadeye Tracker. Exile two cards from your from your opponent's graveyard. Deadeye Tracker explores. And well, Gate Crash was trash. No, actually, Gate Crash is all right. It was um, Dragon's Maze that was trash. And there's a nice foil for you. All right. Three. This is our third pack for our good friend here playing along with us. Commons down. Uncommon. Vicious Conquistador. Belligerent Brontodon. Oh, I see it. There it is. Mythic number three. Hulatal Warrior Poet. You gain life equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Create a 3-3 dinosaur. Or uh, deals X damage as you choose among number of target creatures. Nice. Very, very nice. Boom. There it was. Like I said, mythic number two. Now watch even more, more mythics out there. This is going to be crazy. Nice pull, Sebastian. Nice pull. All right. Gets these guys out of the way. Uh, Raider's Wake. Bonded Horncrest. Ixalan's Binding, and Verdant Sun Avatar. When it uh, enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to the creature's toughness. Very, very cool. Two packs to go. Two packs to go. We have hit definitely our Mythic allotment. We've hit our Foil Rare allotment. Now we're just looking for value. Uh, Trove of Temptation, Dark Nourishment, Tempt Caller, and Coppola, Warden of Waves. Spells your opponent's cast cost two more. Uh, that's gonna be the target of Merfolk you cast. It costs two more to cast. Abilities your opponents activate the target of Merfolk costs two more. So a little Merfolk control, and another foil. March of the Drowned. Very cool. And the final pack. This one's going out. Thank you very much for cracking the box today, and joining us on today's little adventure. Uh, just a heads up: we will be doing a raffle Sunday. It will likely be a lands matter raffle, and there will likely be hint hint. A duel at the top so uh, there's gonna be a fun little raffle this Sunday coming up including a, a masterpiece um, possibly some fetches and definitely a duel at the top all right get these commons out of the way Willy Goblin Vine Shaper Mystic Emissary Sunrise and bada bing bada boom isn't that the one David wanted search for Azkanta at the beginning of your upkeep look at the top target of your libraries Top card of your library, you may put into your graveyard. Then if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, transform. Boom. That's going to be for t three mana. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. Very, very nice pickup. Got some good trade bait there. You got some good fun uh, items there. So for anybody wanting to trade, for anybody wanting to uh, do whatever you want to do, I ship these all off on Tuesday or you can pick them up anytime. If you need to make transfers back and forth, let me know. As long as both parties agree, I will go ahead and transfer them around and get those shipped out or you can pick them up uh, anytime you need to. All right, thank you very much for playing. We do this every Friday. We have boxes we'll be hitting up next week as well. And uh, we've got raffles Wednesdays and Sundays. And we also do deck techs and uh, other fun videos like that, as well as live play here at the shop every Wednesday through Sunday. All right, guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye now.